want to be an actor, it takes a special kind of talent to be able to play any role with believability. One moment they appear as the salt of the earth, admirable characters ready to sacrifice their lives for the greater good, in the next moment they turn into terrifying villains, bringing murder and death, willing to destroy the world. Only gifted actors can convincingly breathe life into any character that he or she is portraying without becoming a hostage of just one iconic role. It should be no surprise that the actors who portray these heroes and villains should switch between roles through their career. On this episode, we would count down the actors who can play good as well as bad guys and maintain a high level of performance. Hi everyone, my name is Sandra Eze. I am a TV host and an actor. Hey guys, my name is Johnny Drill. I am a singer, songwriter, and music producer. Hey guys, my name is Ilo, Ilo with the flow, uh, radio presenter and producer, or you can just say that dude on the radio. Hi guys, I'm Bimbo Ademui, and you're watching Spice Most. So today I'm going to be talking about most actors who can play both good and bad guys really well. So today on Spice Most, we'll be looking at actors who can play both good and bad guys. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of actors that come to mind when we talk about this, but we've selected the elite of the elite. So just check out the list and uh, let me know what you think. Um, as an actor, I know what it takes to become one person today and become another person tomorrow. You know, versatility is something that everybody wants to see in an actor because you have to make your character believable. Hence the reason that I picked this amazing legend, if I'm allowed to put it that way, as, you know, my top most actors who can play good and bad guys. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson is an Irish actor who rose to prominence with his acclaimed starting role in Schneider's List. He has since starred in a number of successful films, including Taken, The Chronicles of Narnia, and Star Wars. Liam Neeson got the Batman role, appearing as classic Bat villain in Raoul Zal Ghul. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Christian Bale's Batman. Batman Begins was a huge success, both critically and commercially. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you know him from Taken, you know him from Nonstop, that movie about the train, and he had to save some random person he didn't know after picking up a call and accepting money, and yada, yada, yada. Yeah, but he is quite nasty, right? And Liam Neeson actually took on this character and did justice to it. He's kind of like the guy you see and you... You want to hate on him, but you can't hate on him because his character is so lovable. So whether he's playing the good or the bad character, which mostly he plays the good character, very few um, bad guys. Bad guys, not because they're really bad, but they're just, they're just the villain, you know, Bose, actor, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so I think Liam Neeson does it amazingly well. Either, no matter what he plays, you end up loving him and rooting for him, and I think that makes a fantastic actor. I think I think we all know him to be a good, kind of good guy, like that good, cool action figure that goes to save the day, or that's fighting for his family or for his wife, or trying to save someone or save people in a bus or a train or something. Um, I don't think I really see him playing a bad role. He looks like a good guy, he feels like a good guy. But I guess, I guess it wouldn't hurt if he took on like um, a different, different variety of role, like a bad guy. But I just don't see it happening. Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson is one of the most successful and prolific actors in the past few decades, with over 100 credits to his name. Along the way, he dipped his toes into superheroes and comic fare more than once, playing heroes and villains. He is known today as Nick Fury of the Avengers, the former director of S.H.I.E.L.D. who brought Earth's mightiest heroes together to fight Loki. I watched Samuel L. Jackson in The King's Men, where he had to act um, the bad guy. Oh, I can't wait to watch him in Marvel's um, Captain Marvel coming out in 2019. I can't wait for that one. But um, for now, let's talk about him in The King's Men, where he had to talk with one song. And the, the characterization is just amazing. Samuel L. Jackson is like, He's one of those people you look at and you're like, Hollywood, where have you, like, how did you not notice this guy all his teenage years? You really had to wait for him to get older? Samuel L. Jackson, we are happy. 